Hello friends, this video on cell part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now you might be appreciating that wow, cells are so important. So it, without cells, life can't exist because there, there will be no structure, there will be no function, so there will be no life. So now you might be interested to know what are cells made up of, what is present inside the cell that helps it to perform all these activities. So that is what we are going to study now in structure of a cell. Well, how exactly the internal structure of a cell look like. So what is a cell made up of? So first of all, we will look at the different parts of the cell and then we will discuss about each of those parts in detail one by one. So a cell is made up of components called cell organelles. So inside the cell again, we have different types of different components and each of these components they have a very specific role to perform so each of this component is called cell organelle now we will not discuss all the cell organelles here some of the cell organelles will be discussed in your higher classes but at least the important ones we will talk about them so a cell is able to live and perform all its functions because of these organelles because they are performing one one function. So let us suppose if the cell has to perform some 50 functions, so there are multiple organelles present inside. So each organelle is performing a particular function. So all the cells have the same organelles irrespective of their function and organism they are found in. The cells are present inside every living organism. Cells are present in bacteria, cells are present in human beings, cells are present in plants. And in all of them, the organelles are the same. So every cell is going to have the same organelle. However, there are little differences between a plant cell and an animal cell. So a cell which is present inside a plant and a cell which is present inside an animal, they are slightly different from each other. But yes, all animals will have the same cell organelle. Similarly, all plant cells will have the same cell organelle. So let us quickly look at the different organelles which are present inside the cell or what are the different parts or different components present inside the cell. So this is how the cell would look like. So it is like, uh, it, it, you can just assume that the cell is like a sphere and I have cut the sphere from between. So that's how you can see the interior, whatever is present inside, you can see that. So that's how the picture has been projected. So here you can see the different organelles, nucleolus, this is the nucleolus, this big structure which you see, the purple one, that is the nucleus. And so nucleus is like somewhere around the center of the cell and the center of the nucleus is the nucleolus. So this is nucleolus and this is nucleus. Ribosomes are these little dots which you see here, see blue dots, so they are ribosomes. Vesicles, so here you see that they are like vessels present inside the cell. Rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So this one is smooth endoplasmic reticulum and this one is rough. So the rough endoplasmic reticulum is that structure which has dots over it. That is which has ribosomes over it. So that is why it is rough endoplasmic reticulum and the one without it is smooth. Golgi apparatus. So where do we have Golgi apparatus? It is here. So this is the Golgi apparatus. Cytoskeleton. So this entire thing that is the which forms the base that is the cytoskeleton. Like for human body also we have a skeleton inside over which everything else is being fitted. So in a very similar way the skeleton is formed by this cytoskeleton. Mitochondria, so this one is mitochondria, this structure which you see here. So this is very important, this is called the powerhouse of the cell because it provides all the energy to the cell. Vacuole, so here is the vacuole. So this vacuole is a more prominent cell organelle in plant cells, but in animal cells it doesn't have much role to play. Cytosol, where do we have cytosol? So cytosol is the fluid structure which you have here that is called cytosol. Lysosome, this is lysosome and lysosomes are called the suicidal bags of the cell. 
centrioles with centrosomes. So where is centriole? These are centrioles. The centrioles play an important role during cell division. The, as I said, as we know from the cell theory that cells arise from pre-existing cells. So the process by which new cells are formed from existing cells, that is called cell division. That is cell divides to form more cells. That is cell division. So in that cell division, nuclear centrioles, they play important role. So this nuclear centrioles, they have important role to play during cell division. And finally, cell membrane. So cell membrane is the outermost covering of the cell, which keeps the cell separate from whatever is present outside. So that, that's the boundary of the cell, that is cell membrane. So these are basically the different structures or the parts which are present inside the cell. Here we are not going to discuss about all of them, but yes, we are going to talk about the important ones. So let us try to look at the structure of a cell. Just try to observe this yourself with the help of a microscope which might be present in your school laboratory. All you need is a thin slice of onion. So just take an onion and take a very very extremely thin slice of the onion peel and then you observe it under microscope. So when you observe it, this is what you will observe. So structure like this will be observed. So what do you see here? So here again you can see compartments which are bounded by boundaries. So these are the boundaries and inside are the compartments. So these boundaries are nothing but the cell membrane. Cell membrane is also called plasma membrane. So cell membrane is nothing but the boundary of the cell in simple words. So this is the cell membrane. So this one is one cell. So you can consider it like this. This is one cell. This is another cell and so on. So that's how the different cells will be present here. So this boundary of the cell, this is called cell membrane and inside the cell, the fluid which is present here, that is called cytoplasm. So plasm is related to plasma. Plasma means something which is fluidy and cyto is related to cell. So cytoplasm, so the fluid which is present inside the cell. This entire space, the entire empty space inside the cell is filled with cytoplasm. Now you might ask then where are the cell organelles present? Just now we talked about mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, where are they present? So they are all embedded in the cytoplasm inside the cell. And another prominent thing that you will be able to observe is a structure somewhere around near the center of the cell and this structure is the nucleus. So these are the three things, three important things which will be visible to you. Now if you want to observe the cell organelles also then maybe you will have to study it further. You will have to use a high resolution microscope and then you will be able to see it. So these are more or less the structures which you will be able to see it with your microscope. So let us quickly look at the structural organization of a cell. So the important parts of a cell, just now as we discussed, cell membrane is one of the most important part because cell membrane decides the shape of the cell. It gives boundary to the cell. It separates cell from all other parts. Cell wall. Now this cell wall is again another additional boundary outside the cell membrane but this is present only in plant cells. It is not present in animal cells. So this is important. So basically animal cells will only have one boundary that is cell membrane but plant cells will have one boundary called cell membrane and outside cell membrane it will also have a cell wall. So here in this picture, you can see a plant cell. So this is a plant cell and in this plant cell, you see there is one boundary which is yellow in color and there is another boundary which is green in color. So this yellow color boundary is the cell membrane and outside the cell membrane, there is an additional boundary called cell wall. So there are two boundaries and inside you can see the cell organelles which are embedded in the cytoplasm. Inside you have one prominent thing at the center which is called nucleus. So in this case, this, this entire orange colored structure which you see, this structure is the nucleus. Then you have cytoplasm, this fluid, the sky blue colored fluid which is present inside the cell that is cytoplasm. 
and the cell organelles. So in this cytoplasm, you see there are so many different cell organelles which are embedded. So these are the various cell organelles. So these are the important parts which form the structure of the cell. Now these parts are present in an animal cell as well. So if you look at the same parts in an animal cell, so here you can see there is just one boundary and this boundary is the cell membrane and there is no cell wall in animal cell. Here also you have a nucleus and this is the nucleus. Here you also have the cytoplasm, so this fluid which is present here that is cytoplasm. So that's how we have, I mean all the things which we will discuss in terms of structure of the cell, they are common to both plants and animals except for few changes and wherever there are changes I will keep mentioning that. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.